I'm going to talk about a little bit about that vertical antenna right there, which I call the Michigan Cacti. Welcome to the Michigan Cacti, people. Uh, the reason why I built that antenna, that's my ham shack. Those are my antenna supports. I've got a dipole, an inverted V for 30 and 40 meters up in those pines. Hard to see, but there's a piece of white THHN stranded 14 gauge that runs up to about the 40 foot point there, drops straight down, and that's an unfed half wave that I use on 80 meters. And I also use it on 160 meters as a quarter wave. Um, it works surprisingly good. Um, under this vertical, I have a very modest radio system. There's about, uh, well, there are 16 radios, and they're only 30 feet long each. This yard is extremely wet, and the water table's less than a foot below. Uh, dig a hole a foot deep, and the water comes up, man. So, this I needed an antenna for 20 meters, and I had enough scrap aluminum laying around, painter pole parts, whatever I used whatever I had and that's a 20 meter radiator right there the aluminum pole and it worked fantastic then I wanted to uh, get up an antenna for 15 meters so I figured well I'll parallel a wire the one on the left is for 15 meters goes up ends there in a spring. The reason for the spring is because for fine-tuning it, all I have to do, well, there aren't any on the 15 meter wire, on the 6 meter wire there are, grab a pair of needle nose pliers, bend a kink in it, and you'll drop, you'll change your resonant frequency by, oh, 30 kilohertz on 15 meters. So anyway, now I had an antenna a vertical for 20 and 15 and I expected a lot of interaction and there is almost none again 30 40 kilohertz uh, change in the 20 meter resonant frequency and that's fine I retuned it retuned the 20 meter uh, although I didn't need to I did and that worked fantastic the 15 meter radiator so I figured well I need six meters I turned six meters on one night at 9.30 at night and made a handful of contacts with Texas. I couldn't believe it. So I added another <clears throat> scrap plastic. And this one spaced out a little farther, no real reason. Just winging it, man. That's my six meter radiator. No spring on that one, just tied off with some string. And touchy, <laughs> touchy to tune. An eighth of an inch change results in a fairly drastic frequency, uh, resonant frequency change. Um, but with a little screwing around with this, I was able to easily tune it. Just uh, make it resonate a little too low in frequency. Start bending a couple of few bends and you're dead nuts on. Well, six meters, that works great. So I figured, well, geez, uh, I need 10 meters now. So, on goes another wire. On goes another piece of scrap plastic. Ha <laughs> ha, I lost you in the sun. Well, anyway, 10 meter radiator. 15 meter radiator. 6 meter radiator and 20 and uh, I especially expected um, a lot of interaction on 15 when I added the 10 meter wire and again very little almost none and again when I added the 6 meter radiator so I have a 4 band vertical no traps parallel resonators 
just like a fan dipole turned on its end. That's what it is. Why would I want to add traps to a vertical? To a zero cost? <laughs> you know? Yeah, that vertical costs nothing. And it works splendid. That is the Michigan Cacti. Thank you.